Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Well, uh, God gave me this after I was done with my message on discipline. You know, the fear of the Lord uh, is about discipline, you know. And uh, God has presented me this idea one time. And this is very important right here. Uh, very important that I learned uh, about, uh, I mean, look, Jesus says, you know, in Matthew 13, they have eyes, but they can't see, but they have ears, but they can't hear. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about the ears that can't hear more emphasis on it. But here's the thing what I'm going to, that God taught me about, about this idea dynamic of hearing, hear, and heard. You know what I'm saying? The difference between hear and heard. And, you know, the interesting about these two letters, uh, one uh, has a D, you know what I'm saying? And that D God taught me says that D means discipline. And I'm like, whoa, you know, one says hear and one is heard. Now, interesting about hear, hear is a word that talks about a present tense a word, a present, like I'm, I hear now, I hear right now, you know, so I hear what I'm saying right now. But heard talks about something that's future tense, more likely, that you, whatever information that you uh, were listening to, bam, it's already there. You know what I'm saying? It's already there. The information that you was listening to is, bam, you got it, more likely, kind of like that. You got it. And and this is very important, especially being, following God, listening to God and listening to people that a lot of people don't uh, may not understand this dynamic of hear and heard you know what i'm saying like certain like it's kind of like in school certain people will listen to the teacher and they will listen to the teacher and the teacher gives instructions the teacher gives an assignment and you know as much as the teacher teaches and the information that that person gives to the student, they will hear what the teacher said. But guess what? A test or more likely a, a, an assignment that you will pass out to like 20 students. And all of a sudden you get that paper back. You will see that, you know, some of them got them right. Some of them got them wrong. You know, some of them got it all right. Some of them got it all wrong. See, and that is important to understand this idea, what I'm saying, that certain people were here on that here thing, but they wasn't, they, they wasn't in position to uh, heard the teacher. I know that don't sound right. They didn't heard the teacher. And it's like, you know, but here's what heard means that God showed me. It means to be disciplined, to what well, it means to receive, to understand, to remain disciplined, to capture what is given, to receive, to understand, to, to understand, to, uh, more likely whatever you capture, you captured something. And what happens is certain people are, you know, inherited from their mother or inherited from their father, know how to receive and capture something and understand it and hold on to it. See what I'm saying? Because look, it's like, man, you could be thinking about like you're in the classroom, you could be thinking about something else, you know. You could be thinking about the football game. You could be thinking about, you know, uh, what did he say, she say, y'all know, in schools. You could be thinking about all kind of stuff, but the thing is, but those that have the knack of of, of re receiving, 
and understanding and keeping pretty much is the ideal that know how to heard something. You know what I'm saying? They heard something. They didn't hear it. They heard it. And they heard it with discipline that that they 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 heard it that it's locked in. It's nothing is not nothing is not no other thought that's gonna come to mind is going to uh make this not forget about this. You're not gonna forget about what you heard. You'll forget about what you hear, but you're not gonna forget about what you heard. You know what I'm saying? And the problem is that how it works. It's based what you heard is based upon your desire to understand. Your desire, as what Jesus says, that neither do they understand in their hearts. Because you had an ear that you can't hear, the thing is, you but whatever you heard, you understood in your heart and you locked it in that whenever that teacher come around with that subject that, that they taught on. It's just boom, 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 bam. A, you know what I'm saying? A is going to be automatic because you heard, you kept it, you locked it in. That's what I'm talking about. And of course, the scriptures talk about there's hearers and doers of the word. And the problem is a lot of people don't understand their hearing is critical, is spiritually critical if you want to grow and mature in the things of God, if you cannot spiritually hear, you know what I'm saying? The hear people, hear God and hear things, you will not develop the proper discernment that you need to really understand things, understand people, understand uh, things. Like we will say, why this happened? Why she did me like this? Why he did me like this? Why that happened? We all, why, why, why? That is a person that is hearing, but they're not heard. They can't heard because that shows that D stands for discipline. They don't have discipline in the areas of listening and hearing what has been said in this area in their life. And the thing is, a lot of people will, you know, not receive what they need to receive if they need to receive information that they need to hear. Like we can hear all these people talk about this and talk about that. A lot of people talk, a lot of information is flowing around, but there's certain information that you supposed to hear when you hear information that is supposed to be like the main thing that you're supposed to get to get everything else. You know what I'm saying? For instance, I, you know, like uh, Sherlock Holmes and Sherlock Holmes, you know, he has this uh, method that uh, if you watch uh, elementary or anything that has Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes, he knows what he has to hear. You know what I'm saying? You could talk about this. You could talk about this. He could talk about that. Talk about this. But he will look at the situation, observe it. He knows he needs certain information that he needs to hurt, that he heard. He can hear, I heard something that I'm supposed to be disciplined to know this thing and know this thing and know this thing. And when I put this thing together, I know what happened. I know who did it and I know why. You know what I'm saying? It's that ideal heard that you heard the necessary information that you need to hear to hear what you're supposed to hear, to get everything, to get a, a, a great idea of things is what's most important that we must do when we are about the things of God. We have to have this heard. We got to heard the word. We need to heard the word. We need to be disciplined to hear people. Like right now, you're listening to me right now. And, um, and you know, I know there's a lot of people hearing me, they're like, you know, yeah, Mac, oh, okay, you said this, okay, you said that, you said that and say this, but I guarantee a few of y'all heard me, you know what I'm saying? I, I put out videos out there, and I and I guarantee I probably know that probably uh, maybe 20, 30% people heard what I said, 
or in the majority of them just hear it. And the problem is because you don't understand that words, the, the necessary words need to be heard, you will not obtain true wisdom. You know what I'm saying? You will not obtain true understanding. You will only un obtain the things of this world system and you will not be mindful of things or mindful of, of people. Because, you know, the thing is, I, I hear a lot of, you know, I talk to people and I hear a lot of, you know, how people like, well, I was with this person and we were cool and everything, but this person, the person said this and the person said that and they did this and did that. And, you know, I didn't like, you know, how that person sounded, how they said what they said. I didn't like how that person, you know, see, we have a sense of hearing of, of certain things. But when we don't know what we supposed to heard when a person said certain thing, more likely the main idea of what you're supposed to listen to, to get an understanding of people, we will do, we'll, we'll go about handling situations the wrong way, which leads to bad relationships, will leads to bad altercations because of a what misunderstanding because someone did not heard someone correctly they were busy hearing them and they wasn't they didn't have a mindset they need to hear something to heard something to be disciplined to understand the person where the person's coming from and the thing is and people misunderstanding is going to always continually happen in life because people don't know how to herd they don't know how to herd her they didn't herd people they just busy hearing people and like whatever, whatever, whatever. But the thing is, heard when you know you you heard what a person said, you will know how to receive a person properly, and you will know how to deal with the person according to what you heard to deal with people better and know how to discuss things with people instead of argue things with people. Because because people don't know how to be disciplined with hearing, they will find themselves arguing with people, and they will argue and say, "Oh, I didn't know you meant. I didn't know you was talking about that. I thought you was talking about this." You hear that a lot. They say, "Oh, wait a minute. I, I thought you was talking about this. I didn't know you was talking about that." That the reason why the person had a misunderstanding because they don't understand what I'm trying to tell you about heard. They're not heard. They're not disciplined within their heart to understand that they need to hear the necessary information that they need to hold on to to get a better understanding what a person is saying, what a person is doing, so they will know how to handle to reason situations better. Because it's too many people out there arguing, fussing, and fighting because of misunderstanding with uh, each, each other people. And Worse, misunderstanding with God. You know what I'm saying? That's the wrong person you want to get misunderstanding with. You know what I'm saying? And I see a lot of people, and I hear a lot of people, you know, concerning they talk about the things of God, and I can hear that they misunderstand things from God, and they will think a certain way about God and have a misunderstanding with God. And when God does something opposite of what they're doing, they're like, whoa, God, why you did this? God, why you did that? Somebody didn't heard what God said. You know what I'm saying? They were hearing God said, but they didn't hear what God said. And they missed God on certain things, missed God's direction, missed God's guidance concerning his provision and his protection. And they got in a situation that things got ugly. We got to learn how to hear and, and, and know, know that we must understand that we got to heard what has been said, the necessary things and information that we need to hear. All right, that's the message. I hope you got it here. Don't be about hearing, but be about hurting things. That's the message. God be the glory here forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.